Hello, welcome to dissecting a raw egg. First, we're gonna look at an egg. And I'm gonna to try to do it a little close, so my camera will probably jump around a bit. But an egg on the outside is hard and porous. It's kind of a little bit hard to see with this white egg. Uh, there are three layers There's that surround the egg inside, so there's the shell, an outer membrane, and an inner membrane. Let me look at a brown one. I think you can see the pores. It allows um, gases to transfer back and forth, basically keeping it fresh on the inside. And the membranes keep bad germs and viruses from going into the egg one end when we find inside hopefully it'll be intact will be and it's the rounder in an air sac let's get cracking so as you see i cracked it but it's holding together because of that eggshell membrane on the inside is quite flexible and there to protect the egg. Let's see if I can get it to crack open nicely. It's being a little ornery. All right, here we go. I'm gonna gently take it out. Ah, do you see that? That is the air sac behind the shell membrane. And you can gently tease out the shell membrane. Here it is. If you pull really slow, you can get it. So, this is there to keep the liquid that is called albumin from leaking out through that porous eggshell. And there's two layers of it. There is an inner and an outer, but it is so fine. If you guys can get them to peel apart, that you would be amazing. <laughs> All right, now I have a rag here for my fingers. Let's look at the egg that we cracked out. Right away, you can see these white parts here. Oops, and <laughs> One dog here from my dog. <laughs> White parts here. Um, this is, I looked it up and cause, the name of it because I called it a chalaza for years, which is what I was taught in high school. But it's a caliza. A caliza. Uh, so that's, you have to Google it. I found four different ways to say this. But caliza is what I'm going to go with. This caliza attaches inside the shell when it's not cracked from one end to the other end. And it's like a rubber band and it holds the egg right in the center of the egg shell, the yolk, so that it doesn't get bashed about and break. Now, if you look really closely on your egg, if you look around on it, you will eventually find a spot on it. You look at your yolk, let's see. I see one spot right there, right here. I'm gonna to point to it, hopefully you can see it. Find it on your egg. That is the nucleus. If this was a fertilized egg, that is the point that would have grown the chicken. The yolk, is kept in that yolk sac outside the little chick's body as in any bird's body until just before it hatches. On the day it hatches, that yolk is completely absorbed inside the body. The chick is so big that it's crowding the shell and it will turn its head towards the egg, uh, the air sac, poke a hole in it, the air cell, and poke a hole in it so that it can breathe air and start working on chipping away at the shell. And it's pretty amazing 
how they get out. They will take and chip all the way around the whole edge in a straight line with their shell tooth and pop the top off and come out. It's pretty amazing. So now let's go over our egg again. We have the egg shell and the membrane. We had an air cell at the end or an air sac. We have a yolk, which has all of the food a, ch a chick needs to grow into a whole bird and get ready to emerge. Uh, we have the membrane, which keeps the albumin out. Oh, I forgot to talk about the albumin. The albumin is the white of the, um, of the egg, and it's clear when it's not cooked, but it turns white when it, we cook it. It is a lubricant and moisture for that chick the whole time it's in there. Uh, and it protects it, it keeps it from rubbing itself raw on the outer shell. If there's not enough albumin or moisture in the air, the chick will not survive. So it's a very important part of the egg. And we have the yolk, the food supply. We have an, an egg nucleus and the caliza that hold the yolk in its place for like a car seat. And those are the parts of an egg. I'm hoping you can spot them all yourself.